based on my professional experience, both as a university teacher and a trainer, I must say that it really depends on the type of course that you are doing and the type of students or learners that you have in front of you. If you're teaching general English language courses with adults, uh, especially those with low competencies, um, one of the things that we, I think we should work uh, with them, because that's what they really want as well, is their active use of the language, okay? Because it's a barrier for them. Sometimes they understand perfectly well with what they're told, but when it comes to speak, they really struggle with that, okay? And most of the times it's because uh, they're shy or they're afraid of uh, making mistakes or uh, something like that. When you're dealing with uh, professional training, uh, with very specific purposes, it's different because everything is pre-established. So um, I work in an aviation school with student pilots, uh, and there, um, there isn't a lot of room or space, <laughs> I don't know how to put it, um, to be very innovative or original because with those students, the only thing that I must do is talk because they don't use their written competencies. So I really think it depends on the audience that you have.